This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kellen. Here are some of the stories making headlines. A legal battle brewing over the mask mandate now in place in St. Louis City and St. Louis County. This comes just hours after the County Council voted to end the mandate. I want to make it clear that a mask mandate remains in place in St. Louis County. There is currently a lawsuit challenging that mandate until that's resolved. Masks are required in all indoor public spaces. Cheers erupted inside the county council chambers last night as the council voted down the mandate in a 5-2 vote. Despite that vote, the mandate apparently still in place unless the court rules otherwise. County Executive Dr. Sam Page says the proper place to adjudicate a public health order is in court. In June, Missouri Governor Mike Parson passed legislation giving more power to local councils in situations like this. Some believe that law allows local governing bodies to halt any mandates put in place by the public health department. Others, though, interpret the new law as protection from restricting or shutting down businesses, schools and churches. Now it is up to a judge to decide. For a check of your Wednesday forecast, as we are really heating things up, we sent things now to meteorologist Kent Derhart. Well, it is hot and it is humid, as you well know. 97 degrees, my forecast high today, with a heat index up to about 107. The winds generally out of the west to northwest, maybe four to eight miles per hour. Not much of a breeze, unfortunately, to give you any relief from this heat, which this heat advisory continues through nine o'clock tomorrow, Thursday evening. Now, we'll break that heat when we get some showers and storms and a cool front to move into the area. The problem is the latest model run isn't producing much in the way of rain. Thursday at 5 p.m. we start the super predictor and you'll see a line of showers and thunderstorms associated with this cool front. This particular run is keeping him out of the area until late tonight, uh, late Friday or Thursday night into Friday morning. And you can see a few showers and thunderstorms. I think some other computer runs may keep these storms in our area a little bit more, but certainly a chance of showers and thunderstorms, some of them rather robust uh, on Thursday night into Friday morning. Keep that in mind. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. Then on Friday, maybe a pop up shower or thunderstorm, although the front's down to our south, so a, a mostly dry day on Friday. But boy, Friday night into Saturday is when we expect the highest probability of showers and thunderstorms. This is the severe threat for Thursday. So this runs from Thursday morning all the way to Friday morning. We don't expect storms during the day on Thursday, but for Thursday night in this part of the area, our viewing area, we do have that low risk that those storms could become severe. That threat extends to the north a little bit earlier in the day, but by Thursday night into early Friday morning, there is that severe threat. Uh, orange ozone day again today, unhealthy for sensitive groups and low grass pollen count, medium on the weeds and the high mold spore count today. So 99 tomorrow, 99 degrees, record highs 103, the heat index at 111, 30% chance of rain or storms on Friday, 88 degrees, 81 on Saturday. That looks like our highest chance for showers and thunderstorms back to 86 with maybe some morning rain on Sunday and then some really nice weather setting up for next week.